Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont, and I am the publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes and the Word 2019 Cheat Sheet. Today, I'll be talking about adding columns to a Word 2019 document. And this is for the Windows version of Word or for the Mac version of Word. And actually, it works in earlier versions of Word as well, not just uh, Word 2019. But anyways, I have this document that I've opened up. It's an article that I wrote. And what I want to do is I want to take the first two paragraph, or the first paragraph, and I want to change that to two columns. It's pretty easy. Basically, all, all you need to do is highlight it, then go to the Layout tab at the top. Some people call it the Layout Ribbon. And there's a button that says Columns. Click that little drop-down menu, select three or two. What did I, I said I wanted to make, create two columns. Okay, two columns. There you go. Now, one thing you should know when you're doing when you're turning a one column document into a two column document, sometimes the text will flow in a kind of a weird way, um, and it maybe won't it won't it won't go the way that you want it to. Like, let's say that I don't like to end this column on a col like on a comma, I might have to do things like do a soft return that is shift return to move that word over to the next column, and uh, sometimes it can get a little bit tricky. Uh, maneuvering the columns around. So one piece of advice when you're doing something like this, especially if it's a complicated or a large document, maybe make a backup copy of the document in case the columns that you create mess everything up and you need to go back to what you were doing before. For more information on how to get the most out of Microsoft Word, check out our book Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes by author Angela Rose or our Word 2019 cheat sheet. Both are available from in30minutes.com and thank you so much for watching.